Okay, hi and welcome back. Ah, oh, the flickers. I got a package from Amazon today because last Friday I was online ordering some paper and some other stuff. And this package came today. Let's get a pair of scissors. I know what it is because this was one of the things that wasn't shipped directly from Amazon and that was only one item and according to Amazon the other stuff that I ordered they haven't even shipped yet so I know what this is yay I bought a small pad of Hannah Muller Britannia uh, acryl paper it's a 300 GSM very obvious and um, it is hot pressed. I'm, I'm looking for some good hot pressed paper. I got two kinds and only like one. And uh, so, uh, so I'm exploring hot press at the moment. So it says watercolor, acid free, H resistant, natural white, and hot pressed. All things I like. There's 12 sheets on this pad. And since it is not stated here I kind of assume that this is not um, what you call cotton so this will be a hundred percent cellulose paper but that does not mean it is a bad paper it is just different to paint on than um, a cotton paper is wow this is very smooth so, um, and it is a block of paper, meaning it is glued on all four sides. The difference between a block and a pad, for those who don't know, is that a pad is glued on one side and a block is glued on four sides. And this one has an opening on the corner. Oh, this has a little opening up here so you can get something in there and loosen it. So, and I'm sorry for the flicker, uh, there's a daylight here, so maybe I can combine my lamps a little bit so that we can get something that doesn't flicker too bad there. So, this is watercolor paper, so I should actually grab some watercolor. And I want to try this also with some watercolor brush pens or watercolor pens I've been playing around with them a lot lately this is kind of the latest thing I did this is a very thin sketch uh, watercolor paper it is kind of hot press type but it's very thin it's only 180 gram paper so it, it buckles a bit but it, it actually worked okay with uh, with, with my watercolor pencils or pens so let me pause the camera and bring out some kit I was not really prepared for this I was just excited because it just came in the mail today so be right back so I grabbed my little set of ah oh, Van Gogh is the name Van Gogh watercolors I got this water brush and I don't know why that sticks so hard in there. The cap is nearly impossible to get off. So what I'm looking for in a hot press paper is a paper that accepts fine brush strokes because hot press is really meant for doing fine details on you um, you can make washes and stuff like that on it as well but it is really made for for detailed work I'm just playing around with some different colors here um, it definitely accepts the, the, the fine strokes well enough Let's try and make a wash here. It seems like it takes it okay. It 
seems like the colors blend nice enough on the paper. I'm just seeing what I got for mixed colors on my palette here on the in the lid. Haven't used these for a while. I got more coming, as I said, uh, but uh, Amazon haven't sh shipped yet. And I ha have something coming from Jackson as well. I was a little in two minds about ordering from Jackson's, but they ship quickly. And um, I don't know if you guys are keeping up with it, but I'm looking a lot to, to what goes on with the Brexit deal uh, with the UK. And um, they seem to have a hard time agreeing on what terms they want to leave on. So uh, in case they, they, they leave with no deal, I don't, uh, I won't be buying anything more from uh, UK because I expect shipping to, to get a lot more expensive if they leave with no deal. And um, so it, it, in that case, some of the stuff I've been buying from, for instance, Jackson's, I might just as well then order from Japan or wherever or point of origin things have. But I will definitely be looking more towards Germany and the rest of EU for, for art supplies if UK leaves with no deal. The reason I, I shop much in, in the UK online is because it's very handy for me that uh, things is in English. I do read and speak some German, a little bit of French and next to nothing in Spanish and Italian. I can f find out what things are in these those other languages, but English is just nice and handy for me. And not to mention that, like Jackson is a fantastic art store. They will keep on shipping abroad, no doubt. They, they ship to the, the whole world. It is just I I don't see the need to to buy something where I have to buy import I pay import uh, taxes and stuff for stuff that I probably can get without any problems in in Europe within the European Union and also shipping within the European Union is cheaper than third country the third. Uh, what we call third countries, and it is just basically every country not in the EU. Um, so, well, the paper is definitely behaving very nicely. Hannah Mulu is a German brand, and um, all the paper I've had from those I actually quite liked pretty much. So, um, so as for watercolors, it, it looks quite okay. It. Uh, the details that I put in there seems to dry up nicely. I'll try and pull it over and zoom in so you guys can see. Up a little bit down, side, oh, sideways and down. So it's not that I, I did any massive details, but it, it didn't uh, bleed when I put some fine details in on that tree stump like thing there and all this blended out nicely wet and wet and it haven't bulged significantly it not anything that I noticed and it seems to dry quite nicely it's a little bit of background there but that's okay that's consistent with the amount of water I did so it is absolutely good for watercoloring. This I'm really happy with because this is a is I won't say it's an inexpensive paper, but it's moderate priced, so it could be a good paper to to buy for for practicing and stuff. And I'm I think I'm gonna make a video where I talk about things you buy to practice on. So I'll put this to one side. So let's see how these guys play. 
looking for paper for watercolor markers or pens I got both I am um, I'm looking for something where I can maybe like this draw something up and then make a line wash later So let's see what I should probably clean this a bit. Making sure it's not full of all kinds of browns and greens. So let's see. Oh smooth. Wow, I like this. This means that this paper is not very absorbent. It is absorbent enough to work with the watercolors, but it is not so absorbent that it just sucks up all the dye from these pens. So I can have help lines that I just can wash out. This is fantastic. And I can soften up my lines and stuff. Oh my, this, this, this is good. I'm so happy with this. This is the feature I really missed. Let's see how that dries up. So that that is a oh oh I like this paper already. So let's move this to one side. Oh, I'll probably do another koi cop with colored pencils. Because then I don't have to dig around to get more colors out. Let's just try and do a oh. This feels nice to, to draw on. But coloring might be a little harder. Maybe not. It doesn't take a lot of pigment off the, the pencil with a medium pressure strokes. Oh, this, I, I think I like this a lot. I got this feeling. I'm not going to try as long as this is stuck on the pad, but I think this would work beautiful with um, some cested or something because things seem to stay nice on the, on the surface. This paper actually feels almost like Bristol to, to draw on, like a Bristol paper. have to look at the price of Bristol paper and this and compare it because if the difference is this there isn't much more difference than this I would probably just end up going with whatever is best budget it's a very red carp <laughs> Orange and see 
how layering goes. All of those blend in just so nicely. And even though this is like the second layer, it feels the same. Or still. And I'm not being careful about my strokes or anything. I'm not going to sit here and color this in that neatly. I just want to feel how it feels to draw on this paper. And this dried up just beautifully. It'll, it, it dried up the same as it was wet. Which is nice. This makes me want to go back and do more pencil drawings again. I haven't done any for a while. Absolutely nice paper. I don't know why I haven't bought any of this before. I yeah, I maybe I actually I do because the one place where I know I can get it in Denmark and I am trying actually to buy as much as I can locally to support my own community. And that is they don't have this as hot press, they they keep it as a rough and a knot surface. But they don't uh, They don't have it as hot press, but maybe since they shop with or, or trade with a company, I should maybe ask them if they would get me some. This is absolutely fine. Details and everything goes on nicely. I don't. I, w I won't make you suffer through how many layers it can take, but two or three is at least no problem. I would say. Probably four or five is also likely not to be an issue. Um, so. Let me try again with this set. I got something in my thumb that is annoying me because I've been out picking stuff in the garden and I think I grabbed something. I should have left alone. I need to clean up this box. This is kind of my new thing to, to draw is fish. I should have started that sooner. I love fish. I, um, I've had aquarium fish for quite a number of years and I worked, that was my specialty in the pet store I, I worked in. I was responsible for buying them for the store and making sure we had specialties and stuff and I of course looked after them a lot 
I don't have so many aquarium fish myself anymore because after nearly a decade of doing it professionally it it became too much like work what did I do at work I was feeding fish I was changing water in fish tanks and when you come home that's not exactly the same thing you want to do here so um, my own fish kind of vanished while I was working there and I haven't really come back since yeah and I was really sloppy with this drawing I yeah and well you can't fault Albert Dura pencils they just melt away at the slightest touch of a water but also the the color stays nicely where I put it let's try and wash it out here gorgeous this paper is so cooperative I don't think about the paper I just do what I want to to do here and um, it just keeps up and that's what a good paper should do. It should not be um, hard to do washes or <coughs> gradients or drawing on it or anything like that. It uh, should just uh, be there and accept whatever you, you want it to do. Yeah, and these brush pens just finally some paper they work with and work well with. I can make them work on other papers, but but not as effortlessly as this. And things dry fairly fairly quickly on here. That's nice too. So. Yeah, there's not a big difference between using the the watercolor pens and the watercolor pe pencils on this paper. This is nice. Absolutely great. So let's see, when you take another layer here. Seems to go quite, quite nicely. This is cold red, that's going to be funny to get to work here absolutely just fine So 
Oh. This is absolutely accepted. That is... Uh, Let's try and do a mix here. So this is a a warm blue and a warm yellow, so this won't make the best of of greens. But let's see how it goes. Works just brilliant. A nice olive green. And just spreads out when I ask it. Leaves no pencil marks. That's brilliant. Absolutely good. And the colors stay nice and bright too. That means the pigment sits on the on the surface and doesn't sink into the the paper. So the sizing on the, of this paper is, is just right. It is it's not too much and not uh, too little. It it just this is brilliant. This is uh, everything I would have I hoped for from Hannah Muller. They they are really good at making paper. So. Oh, what else could I try on here? Hmm. Pastels, maybe, or something pastel-y. I didn't take any out, so I would have to take a break and find some of that. Because... Hmm. Yep, I'll be right back. So... This is charcoal, but it should be kind of working the same way as any pastels. If pastels work on paper, charcoal works and vice versa. Uh, they don't smudge well. well enough, I guess. Not my favorite for that, but I didn't expect that to because charcoal and pastel usually works best on, uh, on a little more rough paper. But for what I want to use it for, for pencils and for any watercolor stuff, it absolutely works so um, totally thumbs up for me from this I will really enjoy using up this pad I'm sad there is <laughs> only 12 sheets on here because that is that is gonna be brilliant to to work on and um, I got more papers coming so but this could be a new favorite for for watercoloring so thank you all for watching. Give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back with some more when it arrives. Take care. Bye-bye.